What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Low Key Porter. Um, I just had a little bit more time on money break after I did the first video. So I'm like, yo, let me do another one. This one is about automation. What automation is, is basically controlling a spe specific element on the track, whether it be the audio dropping, soloing the instrument, and, it, and you get to uh, basically control when that happens. So all you have to do, if you're wondering how to do drops without like cutting audio and like strucking the, the, the file like that, or you like you can control instruments and effects and plugins, whatever. You the first thing you want to do in Logic Pro 10, which I'm using the old version, is you want to just click on this little um, symbol right here, the automation, um, show automation, right? Then you want to make sure you have your automation enabled. Now we this is the perimeter we're gonna affect. You have various ones affect all these plugins that you see right here and you could uh, change the attack in the middle of the song the makeup game you have control over all these things but we're going to focus on volume right so if you just want to there's two ways you can go about automation so if you just want to touch your computer and mute something as it's playing like press the mute button and it actually mutes when you tell it to and it, it records that you have to be on latch now Latch is gonna record any changes that you make on your track. Any editing changes is gonna it's gonna um, be in your final recording. So be very careful and make sure you only turn on latch and you're ready to do it. If you were drawing in the second way you can do automation is you can actually just draw it. That's the peak. most people want it quick, I, I, I'm assuming. So this is the beat. It's a beat I made um, a couple weeks ago. without the latch right there. Now it's supposed to be recording, but we're gonna play it with nothing, right? Now we're gonna do it with the latch. So we're gonna make me enable the audio. You see how this drop? That's the automation right here. And that's the automation you can draw. Right after you finish recording, doing all your automation, turn latch off and put it back on. That way it won't record any further. And if you want to further edit this, let's listen to it back first, so you actually know what I did. So. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you want to further edit that, like, you just actually um, just move this a bit closer to the start of this audio. Right, so that's all you really need to do is you want to record your latch. Now, if you just want to draw like the audio or whatever, like you want to mute something, you're just gonna. So boom, the line is there for you already. So if we want to mute like these two pieces of audio, you just click this blue bar right here, click it, and we're gonna stretch it from here to here. Now, if I want to drop this whole piece out, I'm just gonna hold shift, and I'm going to highlight both of these things right here. And it's going to drop everything. No, we sorry, we do it from the middle. It's gonna drop everything. Oh, they, they, they trying me today, huh? All right, let's do this one more time. Maybe I gotta be in last mode too for this, actually. Sorry about that. No, not even. But anyway, you can bring this down.
Some perimeters are weird. And um, so this one you can only do mute and unmute. Right? You can only mute and unmute on this. So I'm sorry about that. Yeah. This one can only go up. It can only stay flat or it goes down. You have other perimeter um, settings where you can change other features. So if you wanted to get rid of that, you just double click. It's gonna go away. Sorry about the inconvenience. I'll show you um, something different. Let's change it from you. Let's actually go to volume. Let's go back to volume. And say we wanted to mute this from scratch, right? And we're like, yo, not filling whatever part. They're just gonna start right here. So the yellow line pops up. You just click that, you click it to the area you want to go to, cold shift, select the area you just, oh man, they're doing dirty, yeah, I'm sorry, gotta actually put one more, let's say, yeah, so you'll do it like this, kind of. now you can just bring this straight down, you see what I'm saying? And it's, now that's a drop, or it's lowering the volume. You see the mixer getting lower, the mixer knob getting lower as I hold this down and up. So you can just throw that in the middle of your track. You want to, like I said, you want to reset this, you just double click it. That's it. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful, um, most importantly. And keep creating, keep watching. Um, I, I'm gonna keep posting beats. I'm, this is just something new I'm trying. You know, um, I wanna help the community a bit more, you know, for the people that uh, can't seem to get it right or they can't find somebody to really vibe with the way they teach. Uh, I wanna get better at teaching and help so I hope y'all have a great new year and I hope to see y'all 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 see